Alrighty, boys, the time has come to check out the rest of the update. Guys, last episode, we checked out pretty much the first stage of the update, okay? We checked out all of the stuff that is available in this menu of the new workbench. But guys, believe it or not, you can get to the second window of the workbench. But you need to get a bunch of stuff. So I went off camera because, I mean, I didn't think it was that interesting. I grinded up 357 electrite, all right? And I, because I don't want to show you guys, here's a two-second clip of me doing it. Boof. But yeah, guys, that means that we can now get into the next menu. We got the steel, we got the copper boat, and we got the electrite. Let's get right into it, bro! Jesus, there is so much stuff! Wow! Combiner, button, and gate, solar panels? Jesus, split conveyor? They're now in here? They take electrite now? What? Wait, does that mean that all of my old item splitters... Wait, no, wait, these are randomizers. So what are these? then split conveyors items go to the side oh so you can actually control them that is awesome oh that is really good Ooh, that is my that is my best 750 750 guys that's insane but yeah dude we have to get all of the stuff right here i think one of the first things that i might have to actually get right here let's see combiner button these are all pretty well priced i'll grab some of these i'll grab one of each you know i'm i, I'm, I gotta I, i'm vibing it i'm vibing it a combiner an, what is this? An or gate? All right, I get one of those. A splitter. An X or gate? Okay, I'm only short for the X or gate. But dude, this is really cool. We don't have anywhere near enough for that now either, but <laughs> whatever. All right, guys. So here's all of the stuff that we just got. I will actually go through how we can use all of these different things in today's videos, guys. If you actually don't fully understand how to use all this stuff, don't worry. I have... Guys, I've spent my fair share of time in Lumber Tycoon 2, and I have a really good idea of how to use this sort of stuff, all right? If you don't believe me, I at one point, a long time ago, pretty much built a working tic-tac-toe game, which is, by the way, a form of computer inside of Lumber Tycoon, using wires, and gates, or gates, all of that sort of stuff. So guys, I have a resume! Look at the resume! It's right there! Don't take your eyes off of it! Look! I'm playing the game! And guess what, boys? It even knew when one person beat the other person. Dude, this thing was like 12 head. This thing was genius, okay? Now, guys, I might actually at some point get back to building stuff like this in islands if you guys want to see it! Woo! But before we do any of that, guys, I'm gonna have to go grab myself a little bit more of this uh, green goopy stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with you all in just a minute once I got enough. <laughs> All righty, boys. We officially have all the stuff that we need. Ooh, a little free freebie right here. We have all the stuff that we need to actually craft everything in this tier. Um, we are quite far away from actually having the 750 necessary electrite to actually get to tier three. There's only two recipes left, and I am darn curious to know what they are. But hey, guys, that's going to be for tomorrow's video. So for today, we have the... X or gate left. Let's buy that. As well as the solar panel. Boy, that thing looks sick. Let's place this thing, okay? So let's see what this thing does right here. Let me grab my, grab my wire clippers. Uh, wire. Wire tool. Let's see right here. This has 20 power. Wow. It's okay. So does that mean that it can go for much longer then? I see. I see. That's super cool. Oh, and the splitter transfers the the, the power into different things that is crazy all right so let me actually show you guys how you can use each and every single one of these things i mean there's a couple ones that are pretty obvious for example just to start with let's start off with the switch button and these other things so a switch very simple i think everyone will know how to use it you put it in it, it just goes through okay you can put it into anything you want like that and pretty much you turn on the switch it goes through you turn on the button it works temporarily all right i think these two are pretty darn easy now we're gonna do something a little bit more interesting here and this is something that i actually haven't really even uh, what, what do you call it like experimented with myself these are the splitter as well as the combiner so let me show you how i i assume both of these work what i can do is i can grab my 20 power and put it in here right and then what i can see right here i have passed through a which is 10 power and passed through b 
which is also 10 power, right? I can actually configure this and I can make it so it's like 90, so it's like 18 to two. And I can kind of just split this up however way I want. Now, I'm not really sure why we would do this yet, but this is how this works, right? Now, for example, let's say I wanted to, you know, have multiple different generators producing all kinds of different stuff, right? If I put a bunch of coal into this thing, what this is gonna produce, this is gonna produce 10 power. Now, for example, if I put that in there, that final pass-through is gonna also have 10 power. This is the combiner. Now, if I grab the, let's say, 10 power from here, this is gonna add up to a total of obviously 20 power. If I change this value to, let's say, 20, that's gonna end up with 13, right? It's it kind of like, you know, you see what you see what it's doing there, you know? And actually, guys, very interestingly enough, if you actually have two of those coal things, uh, no, 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 this one. If you have two coal generators, oh, did I just drop it? I did, I did. It will actually be just as strong as having a single, uh, what you gonna call it? A single solar panel. So it is actually totally viable to get to 20 power if you don't want to get all that solar power. But of course, to get the combiner, you actually need to have this menu already unlocked, which means that you can get the solar power, of course. But yeah, this will add up to a total of 20 power. Very nice and beautiful. Now let's get into the slightly more interesting as well as complicated stuff. And that are the AND gate, the OR gate, and the X OR gate, okay? So pretty much, I'm gonna grab an LED light to help hook up the final power to, and I'm gonna use my, um, uh, uh, my, my, my solar panel to actually show you guys how this will work. So pretty much, let's start off with the AND gate, A-N-D. It says it right there on the actual thing. Pretty much, right, for this, here, let me connect this up to the, to the lamp, boom, just like that. Pretty much for this to work, right? Let's say we connect our wire to it and we actually activate it. The way that an AND gate works is that, is that it needs both wires going into it to be powered to actually get an output. So, oh, I have idea. For example, right now, if I would quickly grab a splitter like this, right? And let's say I connect the, the splitter into the switch as well as the other side right here. Because they are both connected, it will work. But as soon as one turns off, it won't work anymore. As you can see, there you go. Now let's go straight up into the next one because the next one is actually pretty simple as well, guys. And you can kind of figure this out with just kind of, you know, using using your brain, brother. So if we grab an OR gate, the way that this one will work, if I quickly connect both of these wires in there, boom, boom, is a bit more simple, right? So pretty much the way that an OR gate works is that it pretty much just as long as there is something powering it, it will pass through. So let's say I right now have just this one. Let me put a switch in between both of these. Let me make this setup a little bit more clean for you guys. A little bit easier to understand for the boys, you know? Grab myself another switch. All right, guys, I made myself a little bit of a setup right here. It's not that nice and it looks a little bit complicated, but trust me, it's not. Pretty much, I just grabbed the power, I split it in two, and then I have two switches right here so that I can show you. So pretty much the way an OR gate works that either of these, if they are on, or even if they're both on, this will work. As you can see, the light will turn on depending on, you know, whichever one is on. Now, this is where we probably have the most complicated logic gate that we will have in this update, right? This is probably the most complicated one. It is the X OR gate. Let me show you guys how this works. All right, guys. So the way that an X OR gate works is it will only turn on if one of the power sources is enabled. For example, if I show you, I turn on one of them. Oh, what? Oh, did it run out of power because it's nighttime? Are you kidding me? These things are useless. Are you what? <laughs> Bloody useless. Nah. Well, guys, I guess I'll see. You know, you want to make an awesome light station that turns on your entire house's lights? Well, good luck because there won't be power to power them, okay? God, that's stupid. It does make sense, though. I mean, I'll be honest with you, but it's still stupid. <laughs> Would you look at that, guys? It's daytime again. So yeah, let me explain to you guys how the XOR gate works. Because this is probably the most complicated one. The way this one works is if you turn on one switch, as you guys can see, the light will turn on. If you turn on two switches, it will not turn on anymore. Let me show. Let me explain to you guys why that is. Pretty much the way an XOR gate works, it only works if there is only one of the power sources enabled. So as soon as there's two, it will turn off. If there's only one, and it doesn't matter which one of the two it is, it will be enabled. So this is super super awesome and all, but guys, I have had my my own fair share of thoughts about this recent update. Primarily, right, um, there are some things that are a bit problematic, right? If you actually wanted to build something really cool with this sort of stuff, there is no way to store power. So for example, right? Well, maybe they're actually, okay, wait here. Wait, wait, I have a thought. I think, I do think I am going to check the Discord, the, 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 the island's Discord, okay? We have a timer, a totem disabler. Wow, that's cool. That, 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 
that's cool. Okay, I think those are the only two blocks that I will not have yet. So guys, if you want to see a video about those two, make sure you check check out, subscribe to the channel. But yeah, there is a slight problem, and that is the fact that there is no way to pretty much just create a battery, right? I can't make a battery, right? Let's say, um, like I, for example, right? For if if I would want to make a battery, I need to be able to make an infinite loop that I can at will break. Can I create a battery? Let's see right here. Okay, so this is a splitter. No, I need a combiner. I need a combiner. I need a combiner. I need this to go into one of these like that. Then I need that to go into an XOR gate back into a combiner. Okay, wait, this might work, guys. Okay, we might have something here. I need more electrolyte. One second, guys. Let me actually test that out because I think I might actually have a concept here for how to create infinite power that I can at some point disable. What would that allow me to do is that I pretty much can turn a button into a switch, which might sound a little bit useless, but that is pretty much the difference between being able to make a supercomputer in islands and being able to do nothing. Okay. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if the islands developers did something about this at some point in time. Also, guys, something funny that that would also allow me to do is uh, <laughs> um, pretty much uh, store my power during the night. So that way all my things don't turn off, which would be kind of nice. <laughs> all right. Let's go back to my island right here. Let's see if I can actually make this work. So let me grab another combiner. Okay, wait here. Let me look at my thing. All right, so pretty much I go combiner to splitter. And then technically speaking, if I go splitter back to input A there, what that should do is what? Is that an infinite loop right there? That's what I'm wondering, right? Like if I now disable this, it does all turn off. You cannot create infinite power here. All right, my final attempt. Let's see if it works. Snip that. And yeah, pretty much cannot create batteries. So guys, that is actually kind of annoying, but at least we have all of this sort of stuff. Now we apparently can actually disable totems, which is going to be super sick because that means that we can actually just run specific farms on our islands, specifically the ones we want to run. You know what I'm saying? It's quite nice. You know, I'm not going to lie, but yeah, guys, with that, I'm going to end off today's video. Guys, if you haven't already like the video, subscribe to the channel and make sure right now to turn on your notification bell because guys, tomorrow we're going to be covering everything in workbench level three. We're going to be hooking it up to some of our farms who are in the biodome and we're going to see what this puppy has to offer. It's going to be pretty crazy. I'll see you all in the next. Peace!